Dohirji, turquoise in Dine Bissau, the Navajo language. I wear it every day, and I wear it every day because there's 8 billion people on the planet, and I want the creator to find me among everybody else. So turquoise has been worn for thousands and thousands of years, and um, I think about the importance of turquoise. And so when we brought these beautiful pieces in recently from a collection in northern New Mexico, I wanted to share the significance of these great early necklaces. These particular pieces that the green stones are Cerrios and the blue stones are blue gem turquoise, that these are hand rolled stones and they date back to quite some time. As a matter of fact, the earliest Cerrios turquoise stones that we see come from the Cerrios region of New Mexico, which is a region between Santa Fe and the Santa Domingo Pueblo or Kewa. So the history behind the Cerrios turquoise stones is that they're earliest stones found in North America, and they date all the way back to the ancient Puebloan sites at Chaco Canyon and other ancient sites. And back in the day, the ancient Puebloans, particularly those at Santa Domingo who were well known for their pottery and their beautiful jewelry, would use a hand bow drill to drill the stones and then put these together in a beautiful form. Kewa, also known as Santa Domingo Pueblo, is located in the Rio Grande Valley between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Both of these necklaces are quite rare, is that they are double strand of hand rolled turquoise beads. And at the bottom, you'll see some shells, and these shells represent the corn, which, as we know, is so important to both the Pueblo and the Navajo people. These necklaces come from a private collection in northern New Mexico, and they are wrapped across the top in a traditional Pueblo and way, and they are available on the website at chapitatrading.com, so check them out. Until next time, I'll go ahead.